New tonight, a Pennsylvania girl is showing her appreciation for law enforcement around the country. And she's been making bracelets in support of police for a month now and has made about 40 for officers in the United States and Canada, including one officer in Warwick. Highway News News reporter Alexandra Leslie spoke to her and has the story that's new tonight. Seven-year-old Kaylee Byers is from Palmyra, Pennsylvania, but she's connected to dozens of members of law enforcement from across the country, including right here in Rhode Island. You may know Warwick Police Sergeant John Curley from the hit TV show Live PD. Curley says he didn't realize how big a following the show has or that it also has fans of all ages. It's pretty cool that she tunes in and watches it every weekend. Sergeant Curley is talking about seven-year-old Kaylee Byers, who I caught up with via FaceTime. One of the show's youngest viewers, okay, Kaylee here. wanted to let police on the show know she's a Hi, fan. Mom. They do a good jo job because they have to get bad guys and it saves our lives. <laughs> And there's a way she shows them her support. For about a month, Kaylee has been making these blue and black loom bracelets. Sergeant Curley got one this week. It's definitely nice when you come in to start your day and you get a package like that. It definitely brightens your day and, and helps you know put a smile on your face for sure. With the help of her mom, the seven-year-old even has her own Twitter account to reach out to police and see when they get their special deliveries. I get to um, write something back. And it makes me feel happy that they got it. Sergeant Curley says he speaks for his fellow officers when he says the support is appreciated. Especially with the current climate, I think it's great that children at a young age are supporting law enforcement because right now we could use all the help that we could get. While Kaylee says she's pretty sure she wants to become a vet one day, she also tells me she's not ruling out becoming a police officer either. Reporting in the control room, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.